In case you haven't noticed, I like tiny things. Welcome back to The Kitchen Prescription. I'm Sherry, the creative director of this channel and The Kitchen Prescription Food and Lifestyle Blog. There's four things that summer brings to South Florida. Heat, humidity, hurricanes, and key limes. And although these look like tiny lemons, these are actually key limes grown right here across the canal in Coral Gables, Florida. And obviously I'm making a key lime pie since they're in season. The differences between a key lime and a Persian lime, the key limes, which are obviously smaller and tend to be yellow in nature when they're completely ripe. They also have seeds inside and they're very aromatic and pack a tart flavor in this tiny little lime. And we only get them here in Florida, June through September. The Persian lime, on the other hand, is grown all year long, all over the world, and you could pretty much get it any time of year. Now you don't need these for a key lime pie, but they certainly make a key lime pie, a key lime pie. That said, you could certainly use Persian limes in your key lime pie, no judgment. Before we get into the recipe, let's take a moment to talk about the origin and controversy over key lime pie. Local Key West legend has it that a woman named Aunt Sally invented the pie in the late 1800s. She allegedly was a cook for a self-made millionaire by the name of Rich Bill Curry in Key West, Florida, who she made the pie for often. The pie is still made today in the Curry Mansion. However, historians actually dispute this story as no record of Aunt Sally or her recipe concretely exist. They contend it was a sponge fisherman who invented the initial version of the key lime pie. Because they stayed out to sea for long periods of time, they had rations of things like crackers, canned milk, sugar, eggs, and citrus fruits. Fruits. They would mix up a concoction of the canned milk, sugar, eggs, and then drizzle a citrus fruit over it, which then coagulate it and cook the eggs. Then they would spread it on crackers, supposedly, because they couldn't cook on a boat. Which makes it very possible that the original pie wasn't even cooked. And others say that it was the fisherman who showed Aunt Sally this neat little trick, and she took that knowledge back to the Curry Mansion and perfected the key lime pie. Thank you, Aunt Sally. And the final dispute comes from a cookbook author who, a few years back, stated that the key lime pie was invented by the boarding company as a riff of a lemon tart recipe in a cookbook in the 1930s in order to sell more sweetened condensed milk. Okay. First of all, it was a lemon tart recipe in a cookbook in the 1930s. It wasn't a key lime recipe. Nice try, cookbook author. In doing my research for this recipe, I also discovered that many believe sweet condensed milk wasn't even around at the time Aunt Sally was. But, my friends, that would be false. In fact, a man by the name of Gail Borden of the Borden Company actually invented sweet and condensed milk in the 1850s. It became very popular before and after the Civil War. The government purchased and distributed large quantities of the sweet condensed milk to the Union soldiers as a way of feeding them on the battlefield. So, sweet condensed milk actually existed when Aunt Sally supposedly was around. And it's very possible that Aunt Sally was a real person and invented the key lime pie. My version of key lime pie has a pretzel crust, which is the perfect counterpart to the sweet, tart, custard-like filling. The full recipe will be listed in the description below with all the measurements and instructions, as well as on the kitchen prescription blog. And please don't get bogged down and fixated on the measurements. 
I want you to experience the ingredients from a different perspective and appreciate the process. That's how I love to cook. Listen, see, and feel the food. That just got weird. my favorite part, getting to eat everything I make. <laughs> the Food Network will want me to tell you that this is all the key lime pie things. Creamy, creamy, creamy tart, 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 sweet, 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 
buttery, buttery crunchy, crunchy, salty. salty. But that is so overrated and overplayed. Simply put, you should just try this. One word, delicious. Put the lime in the coconut. I put the lime in the key lime and eat it all up. If you like this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. I'd really like that. Visit thekitchenprescription.com for more recipes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.